Greetings, brothers and sisters of the Creed. I'm Mr. Assassin. Today I'm bringing you my Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest review as a part of my Halloween Horror Games review series thing. Or whatever. So Simon's Quest takes place right a few years after, si after Castlevania 1, after Belmont has um, destroyed Castlevania and split the pieces of... Not Castlevania. Defeated Dracula and has split the pieces of Dracula all across Transylvania leaving his son, Simon, to destroy each piece because these pieces are still controlling evil in the land and having monsters, not only in Castle, like it was in the first one, but across the land being a very big problem for the people and stuff like that. So that's the story. Let's get on to the review. So I've never played this game up until a few days ago where I started playing, and I've actually started this game over from the beginning to show you a few things that is the wrong with it. Um... So this is a very new perspective from a guy who's never played this game before, ever. So hopefully that does give, some, give you something to make it a little bit more just and a little bit more unbiased. So the first thing I have wrong with it is that there's no map to tell you where to go. There's no objective to tell you what you're doing or what you're going to be doing or where you have to go. But there's yeah, you just spawn in a town, which is completely different from Castlevania, because in Castlevania, you knew, like, there's a castle in front of you. You're going to go in there, and you're going to kick butt and kill Dracula. That was the premise of the entire game. Castlevania 2 didn't do that. It just, simple, meh. You're in the game. Have fun. So, another problem is this. What a horrible night to have a curse. Okay, I will admit... The first time I saw that freaked me a bit out because I was like, what's going to happen? And then I died because the monsters were out stronger. So, night just be gives you a problem in general of these really tough monsters that do a little bit more damage than during daytime. And they take a few more hits than they would during the daytime. You also see special monsters out. Um, monsters that you wouldn't see in the daytime per se. This is the thing real quick I'm going to get on this because this is a good point. So you get three lives you die, you lose all your hearts when you use a continue. And I'll get to the reason why that's a problem later on. So for those of you who don't know, this game adds RPG elements, such as towns, villages, um, people who talk to you, and buying items and leveling up your character. You use the hearts, which was your ammo for your alt weapon in Castlevania 1, which was actually really fun, because you, you it, get, it added depth to the game that you had to conserve this ammo that you or you had to find this ammo that you didn't have. In this, it becomes farming, which becomes very boring and dull, and you're just going around beating up monsters that can kill you, because this game still has a difficulty level a little bit lower than Castlevania, but still very prominent in the game, so it's still a bit, a bit of a problem. Um, the, there's just so many things wrong with it, and I hate to say that, because like, I usually love good games. Like I usually love these classic games that like, it it makes you think what you're doing, like you're not just running through or anything like that. I love these kind of games, but this game is just so open-ended. It's so tricky. Um, I mean, even the people don't even speak in the modern English. They speak in Old English, and they tell you where to go to get these riddles, but you don't even know where these towns are because there's not a sign outside every town that says, well, you're in Al Albania, or you're in Vlados. I don't even know the names of these places. Because I never... They would say, oh, it's in this town. Well, you would go there, you wouldn't have no idea if you're in town or not, so what's the point? It's just very open-ended. There's a lot more problems, but I'm not too nitpicky to get into those problems. I've heard like people don't like the transition of night and day, how it takes forever to transition. I've heard that the palette is bad. I'm, I don't care about the color so much. I mean, if it's bad, it's bad, and I'm going to say something about it. But if it's all just like one dull color, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna nitpick at it because I'm too busy focusing on these stupid witches and bats trying to hit me. I'm not gonna no no notice it. So, I mean, overall, this game is a bad game. It's I don't know what it is with the sequels that happened in the '80s, like Mario One, Super Mario Brothers, and then Super Mario Brothers Two was pretty bad. Castlevania and Castlevania 2 was pretty bad. 
Um, there, Legend of Zelda, and then Legend of Zelda: Link's Adventure was pretty bad. Uh, there's just so many other ones that were just bad sequels for some reason. There's, and it's hard. It's I would like to know why they're bad sequels. So I'm gonna give this game. It's not dog shit because it's still pretty good, but you you'll play it, but you won't remember it in T minus two days after you've beaten it. If you actually do beat it, I might add. So. This is that's my review for the for Castlevania 2. I'll bring you Castlevania 3. Actually, um, a friend of mine is going to be joining me with this because he loves these games a lot more than I do, um, and he knows a lot more of the games. Um, so he'll bring you the a person who is experienced in these games review, while there's me who just plays these games and is just like, okay, this is this. So that'll probably be up Tuesday, hopefully. And I'll still be bringing you Walking Dead. I should. I'll probably record it tonight, and I'll probably have it out tomorrow, the next episode. Even though it went from eight views to three views on my last video, and it'll probably go to one view or zero views as I keep going on in the series. So, as always, brothers and sisters, Creed. I'm Mr. Assassin. Until our paths meet again, safety and peace. <laughs>